Jack Flynn, you've done a lot of investigative reporting through the years. And what about this particular story at Westfield State? How hard is it to, to try and get at this one? Part of the problem is that the, the, we don't have all the documents we need. Um, and the sheer volume of trips that we have to sort of summarize in the documents we do have is, is daunting in itself. There's just a lot of detail, a lot of trips and hotels and changes of airfare and so on. So um, you're trying to condense all that in like one or two paragraphs mm -hmm. and still show the scope of it is, it's, that's difficult. And plus people are a little understandably wary about speaking of, about it, expressing opinions that could get them in trouble. But other than that, it's no problem at all, you know? <laughs> Standard I, stuff. You, you covered uh, what became a 10 hour plus meeting of the Westfield State University trustees last week. That's the one where they suspended the president, Evan DeBell, with pay, or without pay, excuse me, without pay. Uh, no, with pay. With, with pay. Correct? Right, with right, pay. Right. What was your sense of the, the mood going into that session? You're, you're in there briefly, and then everybody's basically asked to leave. Yeah, we expected that part. Um, we didn't expect 10 hours. Um, I had the feeling that basically the parties knew what their roles would be going in. The trustees knew what they were going to try to achieve. The president knew what he wanted. And that they would work something out, either in terms of a suspension um, or a bigger sort of a departure agreement. And they'd do it in a few hours. I figured it would be like maybe you know, a 35-minute meeting or a two-hour and 35-minute meeting. But as time went on, um, we began to get the sense that there was, they had reached some sort of agreement or they were at least reaching for an agreement. And um, that explained why it took so long. Um, and as time went on, we were, essentially the reporters were in a hallway and the hallway led to the board of trustees meeting. And after a while, it was like being in a submarine. And the submarine got smaller and hotter and more tense. Um, and in the end, there was, there was no agreement. And, there wasn't even President Dobell. He, he had somehow left. So, There is, and, and you alluded to this in, in your first answer, a lot of concern, anger, I think, for some, maybe even fear among some people who work at Westfield State about what's going to come of all this. What's been your experience trying to get comments or information from some of the people on faculty or staff? On the record or off the record? Either, <laughs> either. Um, off the record, we've had a fairly, uh, fairly generous outpouring of people with ideas and opinions and stories and scenarios that go back years and years. On the record, it's been pretty much people who are, uh, you know, you've had the president's uh, spokespeople who are now his personal people, the Regan Communications. They've been very, very willing to just comment. And uh, you got the university spokesperson, Molly Watson, and she's, she's okay. And that, I mean, she's good what she does, but she has to she, speak she's to the university little, versus yeah. exactly. And, um, and then there's the union president, uh, Mr. Hoagland and so on. But, for the most part, people have been sort of like laying back and trying to see how this thing was going to unfold. Um, in the last couple of weeks, I think it's, it's becoming more clear, especially with the faculty vote, that um, people are a little more willing to, you know. And, and faculty voted no confidence on, no on confidence. President Bill Probably a two-third yeah. majority of yeah. the vote. Yeah. Let, let's, let's talk about the fact, I mean, in, in fairness, certainly there are people on campus and in the community who feel Evan Dobell has done a lot to improve, to, to modernize the campus. You, you, you have gotten positive comments. Absolutely. From you and to. I don't think, you know, unless, unless you're like a freshman there now and you don't remember the campus from, I mean, you've only been there a couple of weeks. I mean, I, you can't look at that school and not say this school has is, is come a long way. And it's certainly, in a lot of ways, it's sort of the school that Evan Dobell had sort of told people it would be. Um, so that, Evan, that much is true. Yeah. Evan Dobell, I know, had scheduled interviews with me here at WGBY with the Republican for the Friday before last, uh, before the week before he was suspended. Those interviews I know, were canceled pretty abruptly in our case, late Thursday afternoon, I think it was about the same for, for you guys. It, it, it seems a real effort now, understandable, I guess, when you got a big PR firm like Regan Communications out of Boston, and they, they don't go cheap, and, and they don't go down no. easy. <laughs> but when, when they're your representatives, it, it seems like there really is an effort to kind of clamp down and control their message. Yeah, but that effort came a little bit late, I think. I mean, um, the, a couple of days before that, you had, you had a story where the president was, had just submitted a 20-page, single-spaced explanation and, and um, account of his travel. And then you had him on a video released that very same day saying that he doesn't really like to fly. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, he's had some physical problems. Spending six hours in a jet isn't good for him. Well. I don't know, I think if you're gonna control the message, that would have been the time to do it, not afterwards. Um, so, but yeah, they're, they're getting tighter. 
But I mean, Reagan, the Reagan people are. They're pretty candid in their comments. They return calls. They return so calls. Yeah, and they return, they, re they return perceived insults and slights as well. So, uh, you know, they're, they're, uh, they're out there. Got about a half minute left. Okay. We've got the attorney general's office. We've got the, uh, the state auditors people looking. We've got the private firm now brought in from Boston by the trustees. This, this is going to be with us a long, long time, isn't it? Uh, yeah, unless something happens. I mean, I think I think that the sort of the mop up will be with us a long time. If the president leaves fairly soon, um, I think a lot of this will be sort of like post mortem. Um, if he stays and it's a long drawn out fight, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be like legal gridlock, you know. Well, Jack Flynn, a reporter for Mass Live and the Republican, thanks so much for your work. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Thank you.